In this particular episode of Creative Techniques, we're going to look at Illustrator and how to make some really cool art really quickly. Now, the way to get started is simply to have a look at one of these creation tools. So one of the ones that draws lines is good, but one of these shapes can work as well. Uh, I'm going to go with the line tool first. And the standard line tool techniques, you probably know, you can hold shift to lock to a straight or 45 degree angle, so 0, 45, 90 degrees. And wherever I let the mouse button go, that's where the line appears. Now I'm going to undo that. This time, I'm going to hold down the graph key. The graph key is next to the 1, just to the left of it. It's also got a tilde on it, but we'll call it the graph key. So when I hold that down, everywhere I pass through becomes a real shape. So you've got to be careful when you use this because your speed of movement is important. You're leaving a whole lot of art on the table. Now if I do that again, I'm going to start from here and I'm going to hold down the graph key and I'm going to go back down like that. Then I've made this cool intersecting pattern. Now what can I do with that? Well, I'm going to go to Select All, Command A. I'm going to press the K key to get to the live paint bucket. I'm going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard to go to a color. Now when I click just that first time, it's made a live paint group. And I can scribble around with that live paint bucket to fill in all of these enclosed areas. All of these things have become uh, effectively shapes that I can fill in. And I can use the arrow keys to change the color again and then scribble around some more. Now, if you want this to take a while, then make really, really small boxes. Um, it's possible to make something that takes a really long time to do. Uh, and this particular technique actually works well with some quite large boxes too. So the longer you spend, uh, you know, the cooler it'll look, but, you know, it takes longer to do. So it'll, um, it'll look cool. All right, I'm going to stop roughly there. Now with all that stuff still selected, I'm going to select the stroke and set it to none and deselect. And now you've got some cool artwork that took basically no time at all to make. Uh, you can keep painting on this as well. You know, you can you know, have to have it selected. Uh, standard Illustrator rules, if you select nothing, then everything's fair game. If you select things, then only selected things can be edited. So you can still have some fun. And of course, you can set up your own custom colors. You don't have to use the default swatches here. It would help if you, you know, use the color guide tool and went into the edit colors and set up some colors of your own. And then this whole thing will be, you know, a really nice uh, set of colors that you chose. Now, if you haven't done that, you could still make them cool by going to color guide, go to this edit or apply colors. Now I have some selected art and I will recolor the artwork as long as this little box in the corner is lit. I can go to edit and I can push this around and everything's just going to change. And I can use one of these other harmony rules to get colors that work well together. Um, you know, really, there's lots and lots and lots of possibilities here. And if you don't like the mix that's coming up, you can unlink it and make your own. Relink it and then they move in sync. It's really a very cool tool with lots and lots of different ways for you to use it. Um, Illustrator lets you make some really lovely artwork uh, really quite quickly. So if you want to know more about Illustrator, I do training for Mac Pro Video and I have a whole series of Illustrator training courses online there. Uh, check them out. Cool. Enjoy. See you soon.